So, you want to install iTunes on Mac OS? You've come to the right place. In this video, I'll guide you through the steps to install iTunes on your Mac. Whether you're using a MacBook with an M1, M2, M3, or M4 chip, this guide works for all. Let's dive in. First, open your preferred web browser. I'm using Brave, but you can use Chrome, Firefox, or any other browser. Next, type Retroactive iTunes in the address bar and hit Enter. In the search results, click on the first link. You should be redirected to the official GitHub page of Retroactive. I will leave the page link in the description of the video. Next, click on the blue download button in the middle of the README section and save the file to your desired location. The download should start automatically. Once the download is complete, open your downloads folder and locate the Retroactive zip file. Double click on it to extract the zip file. Once the extraction is finished, you should get a new folder called Retroactive. Open this folder, you should see two files, the Retroactive main file and the documentation. Next, double click on the Retroactive main file to open it. However, since it's an app downloaded from the internet, Mac OS might block it initially. If you see a warning message saying, Apple could not verify Retroactive, is free of malware that may harm your Mac or compromise your privacy. Don't worry, just click Done. To bypass this, go to your system settings. Click on Security and Privacy. Scroll down a bit. At the bottom, you'll see a message about Retroactive. Click Open Anyway. Another confirmation dialog will appear. Click Open Anyway again and enter your security password. Retroactive should now launch without any issues. On the Retroactive Get Started screen, you should see the iTunes icon. Click on Install, then select Ringtones and iTunes U with iTunes version 12.6.5. Next click Continue. On the Authentication screen, click on the Authenticate blue button. Next, enter your security password to start the installation process. The installation process will take a few minutes, so please wait a bit. Once the installation process is finished, click on the Launch iTunes button. iTunes should now launch without any issue. Once finished, close the retroactive pop-up. If not, open your Applications folder and find iTunes. Double-click on the iTunes icon to launch the application. You may be prompted to accept the license agreement. Click Agree to proceed. Congratulations! You have successfully installed iTunes on your Mac. You can now start enjoying your favorite music, movies, and more. Thanks for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials and tips. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I'll be happy to help.